Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Bouncing Bit and um, yeah, today I'm having a look at uh, Deadly 30. Um, actually, I wanted to bring up and create a new uh, format um, and ask my girlfriend to randomly pick one of the games uh, that are on sale on the Steam this week. So uh, currently Deadly 30 is um, uh, off and it's uh, roughly two dollars so I told her okay pick one game that is less than two dollars and she did and she picked this one uh, which I'm happy with she said okay I picked it because it contains zombies and I know you like zombies um, so I'll try and play the game so I already did a run on this uh, because the problem is with this game as you can see in the settings it only has um, yeah one button here and if I click on it, it squelches the sound and I can't um, control the sound. So yeah, well, uh, let's clear the save data and see if uh, the game is uh, yeah any good. Um, one thing, um, these gu two guys here created it. So um, essentially it's a small indie studio. The game came out in or was on Steam Greenlight and it got greenlit and it was um, as, um, as far as I could can tell it's uh, started in 2012 and the two indie developers um, called sorry for the m uh, misspelling from my side um, guys um, Iggy Zuk uh, which is a programmer according to his um, to his Steam pay uh, to his YouTube channel um, as far as I can tell uh, because there are some programming topics on there. Check it out if you like. And the other guy is Gonzo SSM, which is a graphics artist for this game. So let's jump in and see what the game is like. So let's start off with the intro. <coughs> As you can see, it's, um, yeah, well, I'm the soldier and yeah. Um, it's in a zombie apocalyptic setting. I think it's World War II, according to the tanks I can see here. And I have to survive uh, 30 deadly knights. So let's start off. God, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I? Okay, let's move on, soldier. So this guy uh, didn't have much luck. Let's ch check and get some of the ammo here. Let's start up the generator and erect the pants here to protect me. That's something I learned from the two runs I did before. Oh, I already used my med kit. Um, so that's not good. Um, Let's see how far, how, how long I can survive here. Yeah, I already did that, unfortunately. I think there's also a shop here that I can open and I can buy weapons here. So currently I've got the, M, uh, the MP and I got 220 ammo, which is okay. And I also can earn some medals. So uh, essentially the, these are also achievements in steam um, yeah let's see how long I can survive here so game is simple at night I have to protect myself and my base here oh, let's repair the fence here uh, fences quickly break as far as I can tell But better the, the fence is breaking than my head, I guess. No one here, okay. Okay, first night finished. So let's move out and get some ammunition and gear, hopefully. Let's enter the snow world. Quickly move on. I can also dodge. 
Okay, kill the naked zombie there. Let's reload. I also got a close range attack, but that's uh, not as powerful as I thought. Okay, many people that didn't have the luck I had to survive. Okay, got another um, weapon here, the M1 Thompson. So let's try it out as soon as we get back to the shop. I also have to have a look at the, yeah, well, the daytime. Currently it's dawn, it's okay, but I have to return to base in the evening, otherwise I will be dead. Okay, let's go to the castle. I think that's more deadlier, it's deadlier than and the other environment. Many zombies here. But also some loot. So I collecting scrap, which is essentially the currency in the game. Uh, and hopefully I can get some guns before I get eaten alive here in the castle. More scrap. Well, the graphics are, well, a bit basic. I think the game's also programmed in Flash because uh, when I first started the game, I got this uh, camera pop-up you sometimes get by from Flash games. So, but it's okay. For two dollars, <laughs> it's not too shabby. Oh, I don't have any ammunition left. So let's grab some of this and I can't continue here so let's quickly get back to our base and hop along. I just noticed that hopping along is a bit um, yeah a bit faster but unfortunately the zombies have respawned. Uh, Only got 60, 45 ammo left, so... Okay, I got the Winchester. Maybe I can buy that in the store as well. Yeah, let's see. So, move it, I... Um, I think it's only the first phase of zombies here. So let's just quickly move because it's getting late and dusk is already coming. Uh, okay, it's night already. Let's just move on. Quickly. I think there's a zombie behind me but I won't look so... Because I'm quickly moving forward. I need to get to the shop, otherwise I will be screwed. Oh, they are all... Okay, no ammo left, so they are already breaking my fence, so let's get some gear here. Uh, I think I'll buy the Thompson for three, 700 bucks and I can't upgrade the barricade unfortunately. I of course have to get some ammunition. Let's build a... Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Just get some ammunition uh, and head out again. So I notice it's better to crouch, so... Let's qu quickly repair the fence here. Oh, oh, oh.
Fetch the ammunition. Okay, the fence is gone. Okay, if they hit the generator, I guess I have a problem. So let's grab this ammunition and kill those guys here. <sighs> okay, I have survived the first or the second night. Let's just see if I can... No, I can't buy anything. So I'll just erect the fence. I love my country. Yeah. So I've just got some scrap for surviving the night. Maybe... No, don't sleep till night. I have to... Okay, move it. Move it, guy. We're moving in the other direction. Let's just see if we can find something useful in the cornfields. Okay, nothing special here. I think the Tommy gun is a bit more powerful than the other gun I had, but currently it's not as super effective as I thought. Okay. Okay, not too shabby. Bit of scrap here. So I think the next thing I should do is to upgrade my barricade. Okay, not too shabby so far. Already noon, I think. Shouldn't risk too much. Okay, headshot. Yeah, if a crouch is pretty effective against zombies, I must say. So, just move on, soldier. This whole area reeks of death. That's right. So, let's see if we can find something useful here. So far it's pretty useless, I think. Okay, I got a shotgun. I, I don't know how to... to buy that yet, I think. Okay, I think I should head back, otherwise... Okay, let's just dismantle the tank. Just dismantle this and get the hell out of here. Okay, move on. Come on. Okay. So many zombies, damn it. <laughs> Okay, I'm not back at the... B oh. Okay, staying out <laughs> at night isn't a good idea, I guess. Okay, 
Okay, I did die, okay. It's a pretty hard game. If you stay out too long, then uh, I risked too much, I think. However, I think they did a good job um, with this one. I'm really enjoying it to, to play it. I think, uh, I hope I can beat it sometime. Um, yeah, Deadly 30, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's, uh, yeah, my first impression is a uh, pretty nice game, small game, not too complicated, however has some decisions you need to take during the day and the night circle, of course, and when to return to your place. Yeah, well, pretty nice. Maybe I'll continue that um, approach, so currently, as I said, time of recording, the game is on Steam sale, you can get it for less than two bucks. And yeah, maybe I continue with the series. So thank you for watching. My name is Bouncing Big. Until next time, I hope, and um, goodbye.